Hi, this is Typhon again um, from HexRoms.com. Playing a little more Columbus Day Hex. Um, got challenged by Rain again. If you just finished watching the Spears game, um, think that going to go so well. So right now we're going to go back to the uh, the Inspire Sands Blessing deck, which is uh, the out. Uh, it doesn't run uh, Blessing the Fallen, which is currently bugged in Alpha. Um, so. Let's see what we've got going on here. We've got two diamond, two ruby, early game. Sounds good to me. So clearly Rain's picking a different deck as well. Previously when I was playing him, he was playing a, uh, looked like a mono wild ramp to uh, Fist of Brigadoon, uh, Fist of Brigadon or, some, or whatever that is. Uh, Pretty solid deck, but let's see if it can uh, see what we can do here. So So we're gonna go let's see who's chatting today. Um, so overall, I mean I know it's alpha, but and, and I mentioned this on uh, hexroms.com, but it's it's a solid alpha. I mean, I do software development work, and so I mean, I understand what the difference between alpha and beta is from a production and development standpoint. And it is definitely more alpha plus. Um, I would say that it's probably not beta, just because all the cards aren't finished yet, and I'm not sure if they're counting in PVE development into classifying it as a proper proper beta um, but if you if you took the PVP elements and stood it alone it could definitely be a beta property um, so um, so we have here oh, I'm, gonna hit, I'm gonna hit this nicely um, not really getting hints at the way he's playing right now. He's obviously playing Sapphire Ruby. Um, lots of options. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go offensive and play the uh, Ruby Pyromancer. Um, it's kind of the, the one of the few decisions that you you need to make is you can, whether you, you play offensive which inspires plus one attack or you play a little more defensive which inspires steadfast so that you can uh, be ready on their turn post attack so but I'm already hitting my curve I'm going one two I got I just pulled my three with Lord Alexander and a fourth my shield trainer Shield Trader plays nicely with Ruby Pyromancer because she inspires plus X attack. And of course, I've got the resources to hit. I mean, this is a this is a best case scenario hand um, for this deck. Uh, I guess playing burn. So that's gonna suck. Um, it's all right. We'll just go straight into Lord Alexander, which uh, inspires speed. What that means, of course, is that you can attack the turn that you play your card. There is no um, summoning sickness, as it would be. That escalated rage fire is probably gonna be the death of me later if he keeps pulling them. Gotta make sure I play my cards on main phase too. That's how it's kind of noobing it up and passing priority a little too much there. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. And play my Lord Alexander. Fortunately, he himself doesn't get speed, he just inspires it, so. Yeah. 
Oh. Man, I knew that was going to hurt. Well. At this point, there's really no... I'm not looking for the Legionnaire of Gawain, which is what I'm kind of always waiting for at this point in the game because the opponent's got troops out. Um, right now, what I really need is the Sniper. Um, so we'll see. Ah, the Legionnaire. I need, the, I need your brother. Of course, I'm going to use my charge power next turn, which gives the opponents, I mean, which gives my troop plus two, and I will apply that to the sword trainer because she escalates plus X, so she'll be a four. Under normal circumstances, um, Ruby Pyromancer will also give her a plus two, and then there is there's another Inspire card that's a pl that gives plus one, plus one. Um, a three drop diamond, but for some reason the name escapes me right now. Um, so under normal circumstances, by five, um, the sword trainer is normally a six attack, um, and then the sniper of Gawain drops and it gets plus X and does it. Um, damage equals to attack, it comes in at two attack so that it goes into an 8 for 8 direct damage or so we'll play unless I get a 3 drop um, next turn and then I'll just play 2 cards of course I think the the next rage fire is an eight. So hopefully he doesn't get to that. I think he's having some resource issues. It looks like um, that's not really what I needed. Um, If I had Lord Alexander, this would work out so much better. Um, he probably has a rage fire. It's probably gonna suck. He's probably waiting for a second Sapphire to play a key card. Um, let's see. Yep, there's a second sapphire. Oh, what are you doing? X damage, of course. Oh, crazy burns. Knowing my luck at this point, I'll probably pull Gawain, which would, which would have won me for this game, but. Bad. Go ahead and play Shield Trainer first so that he can inspire and then play Alexander. Mm. 
but not like the inspiration of Steadfast really matters at this point because he has no troops on the board. So let's see here. I think he probably ended up ramping slow. Um, I know, like, like I said before, he's, he's having some sort of resource issue, so his deck's not drawing the way that uh, he probably wants it to. And I did happen to curve out exactly how I wanted. Um, so um, that's just how uh, TCGs work. Um, just uh, a kind of an any given Sunday approach where uh, any deck can beat any deck depending on your draw. Once again, this is Typhon from HexRoms.com. I'm you're viewing my Columbus Day um, YouTube. So thank you very much, and uh, have a good day.